What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here and today we're at the capsule to talk to you about the two, well I would say the two newest cookie layer crunch bars but really they're changing up the formula. It's Hershey's Waffle Layer Crunch which uses pieces of like ice cream waffle cone instead of pieces of cookies to make a couple of brand new candy bars. So one is Dulce de Leche and one is Strawberry. So basically what you have is a layer of cream with the corresponding flavor and underneath it a layer of broken up waffle cone pieces. Now these are kind of the next in the evolution of the cookie layer crunch bar that I, uh, I already mentioned. In 2016, Hershey came out with three of those, uh, vanilla cream, mint, and caramel. Uh, and then in 2017, they came out with triple chocolate. And earlier this year, and you would have seen the review for it on the Consumer uh, Time Capsule YouTube channel review, uh, they came out with cookie layer crunch cookies and cream, not to be confused with the regular cookies and cream bar. Um, but, Judging by the back of this, it looks like mint, caramel, and triple chocolate may be the only cookie layer crunch bars left standing because all that they're promoting are the other waffle layer crunch and then those three flavors. So we didn't like the Hershey cookies and cream cookie layer crunch bar. So um, good riddance, I guess. That was a very short-lived run on the shelves. The bar was high. The bar was high because of, the, I mean, the original cookies and cream bar. There's no, there's no reason to do stuff with that. Like mm -hmm. you already perfected it. Like if you want to do those little, um, those little bites that they do or something, that's okay. You, you want to do a fun size bar, that's okay. You don't need to be doing that with the the uh, the cookie layer crunch. But hey, this is something totally different. This is the first, I mean, waffle cone in a in a candy bar. That's a great idea. I mean. How I'm obvious intrigued. is that? Yeah. Intrigued. And these are brand, brand, brand new. So if they're not around you uh, quite yet, uh, don't be discouraged. I'd keep my eyes peeled on the kiosks at Walmart, like right up front um, by the checkouts, because there's always cookie layer crunch displays there. I found these at HEB, which is a regional grocery store chain here in Texas. So it's probably a very little help to those of you that don't have access to that store. Uh, but just like all the cookie layer crunch bars, the waffle layer crunch bars comes in, uh, come in pack of nine uh, little bars. And each of these bars is a thick, uh, like 0.7 ounce fun size bar. And they've got three little pieces that I'll show you. So as you can see, I mean, very thick, like basically a king size bar thickness at minimum and the Hershey printing on the front and just some uh, waffle cone pieces. I wanted to say cookie pieces. Waffle cone pieces on the back. Ryan, this is your keep. Ooh. And we're going to get into the first flavor here. Dulce de Leche, which I just learned to say today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Cheers. Cheers. So inside. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so much better. Mm. That's tasty. Inside, there's a pretty visible layer. I mean, very generous layer of waffle pieces. Adding a good, strong crunch to it. Like, almost like a nut-level crunch. You know, like a peanut-type crunch. Like, it's it's really good. Stands up really well to the chocolate. Um, that white layer of the uh, Dul Dulce de Leche cream is it's pretty good. But it's not overpowering the chocolate. The Hershey chocolate is still the star of the show. I don't know how they pull that off. That's tough. It's a good partnership. Good blend. You know, one way that it really went wrong on the cookies and cream bar was there was just too much of that cream flavor. But with this, to actually have a layer where it's a, a unique flavor and then have the waffle and then have the chocolate, it's like a 
33 and a half or 33 and a third balance between all three flavors and it's just perfect all the notes are just hitting just right this is the best of the cookie layer crunch style bar that i've ever had already so yeah i'm not going to go into ranking it quite yet because we haven't touched strawberry yet but now i'm excited but yeah this is um man this is very good so so far first impressions are great ryan uh, another I, look at those bags Do yeah the know? bags are really um really nice really attractive now you know i gotta admit i do prefer just the single regular size bars and those really limped out for the cookie layer crunch um i mean it took like six months for the regular size bars to come out this is the primary delivery mechanism of the layer crunch bars so um you're probably if you don't want to make the three dollar and fifty cent commitment to get one of these nine piece bags you're gonna be waiting a really long time to try the waffle layer crunch so i already recommend picking at least the dulce de leche flavor up uh it'll be worth the money i think you'll like it i'm pretty confident Here's the strawberry flavor, so a similar looking wrapper and obviously an identical size, so like a 0.7 ounce um, thick fun size bar. The only difference with this one is that we're going to have a layer of strawberry inside, but outside you still have the three Hershey pieces and the back, still a pretty pretty decent number of waffle pieces so Ryan there's your piece and I will give it a shot as well no way. all right cheers cheers the bright pink line of um, strawberry there you know, this is strawberry in a candy done right because it's 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 up against it's up against the waffle and up against the chocolate, and really it's just like a really faint strawberry taste, which is really good and really important because if you get too artificial and too amped up on that strawberry fake strawberry flavor, it's usually a disaster. Actually, I can't think of any examples when it's not a complete disaster. We've had a lot of strawberry flavored products. Not farewell here. Mm. But this one is good. What I will say. The, well, you know what? Usually we do the gimmick grade first. I'm going to do the capsule countdown first. Got to give strawberry second place. It's just, it's not a good enough flavor. Like, can we just admit, artificial strawberry flavor in a candy bar, it's a bad idea. This is, this is pretty much the best case scenario of that. And it's still not, it's underperforming relative to what a waffle cone Hershey bar should be. So I'm giving it second place on today's capsule countdown. But I'm still going to give it, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I think it is about the best case scenario. We will put it to the test soon because we're going to be also reviewing the, the Kit Kat bar, which is, of course, a Hershey product here in the, in the U.S. So there's a Kit Kat chocolate-covered strawberry flavor out right now. So this is now the barometer by which that will be judged. So stay tuned for that review shortly. Um, but for now, I'm going to give the strawberry flavor second place on the capsule countdown and the 7 out of 10. First place, you got to give it up to, mm -hmm. to Dulce de Leche. Jesus Christ, this thing is good. Uh, one of the best candy bars we've reviewed here. Um, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Yeah. I mean, really, the, the one weakness that I would say is if you're a... If you're specifically getting into it for the Dulce de Leche, it's, it's not all that distinctive of a flavor in this particular candy bar. I do appreciate that because I like the other elements so much, but you may not if, if, that's, if that's your flavor, like if that's your kind of go-to flavor. So it's not literally perfect, but man, oh man, oh man, as far as I'm concerned, 
both of these are really the best case scenario relative to my expectations. So really great job. These are probably the two best like of the layer crunch varieties that are out right now. So I would recommend giving both a shot, but especially the first place, Dulce de Leche. And for the gimmick grade, hey, the layer crunch bar, I really was hoping that they would just do away with the concept. And they kind of did. I mean, by taking out the cookies and replacing them with a waffle, you're kind of keeping the branding and keeping the spirit alive, but you're, you're making it different enough that it's exciting. So I'm going to actually give the gimmick an 8.5 out of 10, which is, <laughs> once again, another best case scenario for Hershey, given that the packaging is very similar to what we're already accustomed to. Doesn't look all that weird now that we're used to the cookie layer crunch concept, but really this is this is great. It's a great idea, and hopefully they expand this line and just kind of put the the cookie layer crunch to bed as they go forward and add new flavors to um, different layer crunch varieties. Well, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hope that you enjoyed the video, and I hope that cookie la or excuse me, waffle layer crunch <laughs> is available in your area really, really soon so you get to try it and share in the experience with us. And until next time, I will miss you guys until I see ya. Mm. Usually I eat something on the way out. There's too much, too much uh, stuff to do here. I want to eat more right now. <laughs> we will. See you around, guys. <laughs>